Thank you, Craig. It's our pleasure to have as our guest, a very busy man these days, Evander Holyfield, the number one ranked heavyweight, fresh off a victory over Michael Dokes and stopping by between engagements. And I guess everyone is pestering you all week, asking, when are you going to fight Tyson? When are you going to fight Tyson? When are you going to fight Mike Tyson? Hopefully in September. If not September, early next year. Now, reportedly, there's a deal in the works, a winner-take-all, $25 million deal. The winner would take all the money. Are you in favor of something like this? Most definitely. Uh, we want the people to realize that I can beat Mike Tyson. It's not that I'm going in the ring just to earn $10 million like a lot of other fighters have went in and done. But my, my whole perspective is to go in there to win is to take, want to take all. That's what we really want to do. Round two, heavyweights Eugene Gill in the blue trunks and Javier Alvarez, the 27-year-old veteran from San Antonio, Texas, in the white trunks. Mel Parker along with Harvey Schiller and Evander Holyfield here in Colorado Springs. Intensity has really picked up. Someone said to Gill, get out there and win the bout. He's taking a great advantage now over Alvarez. Gill five years younger and he appears to be in great physical condition. Yes, uh, when it comes down to heavyweight, uh, the younger guy, the younger guy is used to exerting himself more so than the older guy. The older guy is a lot smarter and tries to use their experience to beat a younger guy. I think we're seeing more of the people in this weight class going to other sports, though. I mean, over time, it's getting harder and harder to find really, really good heavyweights. Yes, because in the heavyweight division, it's a little different. They hit a lot harder, and a lot of guys just don't want to take them hard punches and shots at the heavyweight. I'd rather take the hard hits in football and basketball. A caution to both boxers, to Gill for hitting below the belt, and to Alvarez for holding and hitting. Oh. Good right hand by Eugene Gill. Good straight right. Gill is scoring very, very nicely now, taking decided advantage in this round. Straight left is penetrating advantage, isn't it? Most definitely. Uh, the jab is the most important wep weapon of a boxer. And followed right hey, by Alvarez. Alvarez must have heard us talking. Yes, you can counter a jab with a right hand, but a jab is what the punch that sets up the other punches. What was your biggest adjustment moving from the amateur to professional ranks? My condition. Condition was my biggest, my biggest change. Alvarez knocked out the mouthpiece of Gill. The rule interpretation now is you get the mouthpiece, wash it off, reinsert it, and start the bout again. You said your conditioning was the biggest adjustment you had to make did you change the conditioning process the things you do in training uh, uh, yes uh, actually amateur you'd really train a lot harder because you train into sprint more so than than relax and professional you have more time to do it Pat Nappy the three-time Olympic coach said something interesting he said you take a good professional boxer against a good amateur boxer and under amateur rules the amateur boxer would fare better. Do you agree with that? Most definitely, because amateur fighter won't get won't get the professional chance to to set up. The amateur guys really don't take that much time to set up. He threw a lot. They throw a lot of punches all the time. Gill is uh, still taking an advantage in this uh, second round, scoring just slightly ahead of Alvarez. I think he's hurting Alvarez on his punches. At the age of 27. Alvarez really uh, doesn't have any professional aspirations. He said he'd listen if somebody approached him, but he does a lot of work with kids. He enjoys that, he teaches Bible school. He's in a corner, he's in trouble now. He's just getting worked over by Gill. Better get out he's of that not corner. even moving. Not even counter-punching, Evander. Good, oh. uppercut. Good right uppercut by Alvarez, followed up by a left. Alvarez is a smart fighter. Uh, at the time, y'all thought he was hurt. He was really, really setting himself up to counter punch. Round three, heavyweights Eugene Gill in the blue trunks, Javier Alvarez in the white trunks. And there's some problem with Alvarez. I think uh, Marco Safaraz feels that uh, Alvarez has just got too much perspiration on his body. He needs to clean him up. They're trying to keep objects off the gloves so you don't get anything in the eyes. And both come out swinging. The jab is making a difference, isn't it, for Gil? Well, the jab is making a difference. Right now, it's the last round. And this round will decide the winner of this fight. 
Both these fighters are very good and very competitive. Looks like they changed positions now. Alvarez has Gill in the corner. Yes, he really, he really pressured Gills now. Gills on defense. Alvarez, the aggressor at this point in round three. Alvarez, who works as a municipal court administrative assistant, I ask him what that means, and he says, I help keep law and order in the courtroom. <laughs> well, a lot of law and order in the ring right now. Well, I have a chance to talk to both of these guys. Both of these guys have two different goals. Gil's goal is to be the heavyweight champion of the world, and his intermediate goal is to be the U.S. champion. And Alvarez's goal is to be the Olympic champion in 1992. By that time, he'll be almost 31 years old. Well, that's about the age of most of the Cuban boxers and some of the other countries. Yes, I really do think Everett has potential of being an Olympic champion because it's something that he wanted to do and something that he said he had desired all his life to be Olympic champion. Good right hand by Alvarez. Kind of sneaky, isn't he? Yeah, he's a smart fighter. He's using the jab, and he's working against a guy that is faster, and it, but Alvarez is smart. He's able to slip the jab and really have good defense. Can you win by just being a counterpuncher, though? There goes the mouthpiece. I think we may have a caution or a warning at this point. Marco Safras, the referee for this bout. Here he is. He's taking the point away. Second time out. You got to hold on to it. Point taken away from Eugene Gill. Now that can be the side factor of this fight. Alvarez, now is the time to score even more. I think Alvarez, like a shark seeing blood, senses this is his opportunity with Gill losing a point. This is, Alvarez is fighting a smart fight. He's going to the body and head. The sign of a very skillful boxer. Good right hand, good uppercut, good Great right Great combination of uppercuts on the part of Alvarez. Alvarez is a very, very smart fighter. He doesn't possess the, the quickness, the hand speed of Gill, but he certainly experienced. It's a good right hand by Alvarez. Gill's looking a little shaky. Well, fatigue has set in both of the fighters, but both of these fighters are in good shape, and they are a fight. Gill stuck in a solid right and going to the body. Alvarez again trapped on the ropes, gets out of it nicely. Final 30 seconds of the third and final round. Everett's not showing a lot of experience. He's able to slide off of the right hand and use the jab to get away as a defensive weapon. That's a knack of slipping punches, doesn't it? Who do you think has the bout right now? Right now, by the point being taken away, I think Everett has the fight. So that's it. The conclusion of the heavyweight bout between Javier Alvarez and Eugene Gill as we await the decision here in Colorado Springs. All right. The Allies are about to take home more Olympic gold than any other country in the world. But it takes a lot of money to help these skilled athletes go for the gold. Money that comes strictly from contributions. Spend yours today to U.S. Boxing in Colorado Springs and keep the gold flowing. Yeah. We're now ready for the decision. Alvarez the winner. Point made the difference. A unanimous decision, the 1989 National Championships. This is his first national amateur tournament, and he comes away with Look a gold medal. Boy, he is happy. He is happy. We thank Evander Holyfield for being with us, and best of luck in the future, particularly in the bout with Mike Tyson. We hope to see it soon. Uh, thank you.